Hello everybody, Matt again, and welcome to my second Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use clipping masks. And clipping masks allow you to overlay one picture on top of another and just rub out parts of the picture on top to show the picture underneath. So it's useful when you're using your layers in order to add different sections up. Now if you're wondering why I'm going into this before I go into these tools on the left, it's because Using these tools, you really need to understand the concept of layers, clipping masks, and adjustments before you actually jump into any of these because the they will save you a lot of time in the long run knowing how to use the layers, uh, more so than knowing how to use the, the paintbrush or something like that. So, first thing I'm going to do is get a background picture, or a foreground picture even. So I'm going to take my picture of me with the camera on my head. I'm not going to resize it yet, I just want it in my document ready. Next thing I want to do is get a backdrop picture. And I've got one of these downloaded. Uh, and it's just one I've taken off of Google. Uh, if you are taking pictures of Google, make sure when you search for something, so say you're searching for clouds, and you go into images, don't just take any image from Google. What you want to do is go into your search tools, go into usage rights, and go for labeled for reuse with modification. What this does, it, it gives you a smaller uh, amount of pictures returned, but they're all pictures that have been marked by people as be having Creative Commons, so anyone can use them. Notice most of them are from commons.wikipedia.org, uh, which is a Creative Commons site. So top tip, just make sure you're using labeled for reuse with modification, because otherwise you can get sued and stuff like that, and no one likes being sued. So back into here, I've got this picture, which is of a snowy landscape. I'm just going to click and drag it on. I'm going to make it, I'm going to clip some bits off of it. So let's just put that like that and press enter. At the moment it's on top, so I just want to click and drag it underneath. I then need to position my picture here so that it's how I want it to be. So I want it to be a little bit tips over and coming in from the edge. Probably a bit more. Oh, I don't want to do that. Command Z to undo. And I just want it tipped over a little bit more. Now, once you've got your image into the position you desire, uh, just press the Enter. Uh, and then I'm just going to adjust it slightly because I don't quite like where it is. Let's just push it up there a little bit. Uh, and now we want to get rid of the background on this picture. We only want the picture of my head because at the moment it just looks silly. I want it to look like I'm actually there. So this is where we're going to use a clipping mask, which is this button down here. I'm not going to press it yet because first of all I need to define which parts of the picture I'm going to clip. Now there's several different ways you can select areas in Photoshop. Uh, the first one I'm going to use is this quick selection tool. And this just allows me to create a kind of automatic selection very quickly. So I'm going to zoom in on my picture using Alt and the scroll wheel on my mouse. Uh, and then you've got this circle that you see my cursor's turned into. And whenever we click on anywhere, it's going to select things that are a similar colour around it. I'm just going to keep going over the face, over the camera, etc. Until I've got most of the colours that I want. Uh, you can make it smaller using the square brackets or by changing the size up here in your options. So I'm just going to make it a bit smaller to get these fiddly bits. You see it does quite a good job of selecting most of the different areas that I want to select. Uh, what you'll find is sometimes these colours are quite similar so I'm going to have to use a different method for selecting them. So when I click on them it's jumping across onto these ones. So just Control and Z to undo. So if I do it's by accident, Control Z to undo. Uh, and then I'm just going to keep on doing the bits that I can do up here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit at the top using my alt and scroll. I'm just going to do a 
a little bit more selection. We'll just make sure we're getting all the bits in there. Don't worry if you go slightly out of the edges because we're going to touch them up in a little bit and just capture as much as you can. Obviously, the closer you get it to the edges, the better it's going to look. Right, so down here, you can probably just capture that edge a little bit there. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Uh, we want to be able to capture this bit here. So whenever we click it, it goes off. So I'm going to switch to using the lasso tool. And what this allows you to do is just draw sections and select them. Uh, what I'm going to do, folks, I've already got a selection. If I just press Shift and draw it, then it's going to add to my selection rather than doing a new one. So I just need to keep drawing around it. Normally what I like to do is kind of rough lassoes to start off with just to get the main bulk and then I can touch it up with slightly better lassoes. And that's probably pretty much about where I want it to be. Let's just go a little bit further out. Select some more there. Oh, you don't want to move it around. And then just make sure you get all of these bits. If for some reason you've gone out of your line, say up here, say I've got more than what I actually want. So in order to get rid of this, I'm going to hold down Alt. And I'm going to lasso the area that I don't want to have and it's going to remove it from my selection and I can keep doing that for anything that I don't want in there and that just cuts off anything that's been added in by accident if we go up here we can see we've got some that we probably don't want just cut them out a little bit more than what we need and it's the same as a lot of things on Photoshop the more time you spend on it generally the better it's going to look. Uh, there's quicker ways of doing it sometimes using the channels which I'll come on it, into when I, in later tutorials uh, but generally your best bet is to use the, the lasso and the quick selection tool. Right so I'm happy with that now I've pretty much got my entire image cut out nicely. The next step is really simple so we just clip click on this clipping mask button down here and what this does is it just removes any of the things that we haven't selected and gives us just the foreground uh, and this is pretty much perfect already because I've spent quite a lot of time selecting it uh, what you'll notice is on your layer uh, tab uh, it's added an extra picture onto my layer and this is my clipping mask. So if I want to be editing this picture, I need to be clicked on this selection here. If I want to be editing the clipping mask, I need to be clicked on the black and white silhouette here. And you'll notice that when I'm on this one, I've got colours in my colour section. On this one, I've only got black and white. And that's because in your clipping mask, anything that's black is going to be removed and anything that's white is going to stay. So if I want to just pick up a paintbrush quickly uh, and start drawing on here, then my black is actually going to remove parts of my picture. So I can kind of touch it up with extra bits like that. Uh, and if I remove too much, say, I can go back into my white and I can just put that in like this and add the picture back in. So you can do little details with this. So if I want to take a couple of little chunks out of the top of my helmet, then we can just put them in like this makes it look a little bit more like I've been hit on the head uh, and you can touch up any of the bits on the outside that are messy which I've pretty much done already with my selection so I'm not going to do any of that uh, and that is how you would use a clipping mask uh, they're very powerful they're very useful uh, and it, you want to get used to using them rather than just using the eraser to get rid of space because you can always go back and you can remove the clipping mask, um, which is extremely useful.
So any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Uh, and if you want an example of the file, then please uh, click on the link in the description to the website and there'll be a download link for all the PSD files. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial after you've clicked that big subscribe button.